Hope you guys welcome back to another one. If you're new to the channel, I'm Gold Pony. I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube, and today we are in the brand new 2023 Mercedes Benz EQB 250, courtesy of Mercedes Benz of Hagerstown in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so, why did I want to jump in this one today? Actually, because the EQB 250 is all new for 2023. Previously, in the 2022 model year, the EQB existed in only a 300 and 350 form. Why is that important? Because the 250 actually has a longer driving range than those other two. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing and so there will be a few different trim levels for the 2023 eqb 250 first one being the base configuration starting at 53,900, exclusive trim starting at 54,645, dollars and lastly the pinnacle starting at 57,195. dollars but regardless of which trim level that you go with the power plant is going to be the same powering the eqb 250 is a single electric motor mounted in the front and this differs from the 300 and 350 because they both have dual electric motors. But anyways, power output comes in at 188 horsepower, 284 pound-feet of torque set to the front wheels only. Another difference for the 250 is it is front wheel drive only, zero to 60 time, approximately eight seconds flat with a range coming in at 250 miles, which is approximately seven miles over the EQB 300 in case you were curious. As far as that charging time goes, it could charge from 10% to 80% charge in approximately 31 minutes. And if you were curious about the warranty on the battery components of this thing eight years or 100,000 miles is going to be what the battery warranty is with a standard four-year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty so before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our EQB 250 wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes there's actually a dynamic button kind of uh, located just to the left of the touchpad controller when you hit that you got individual sport comfort and eco I just put it into sport it did immediately downshift for me so it is going to hold the rpms at a much higher level giving you more power on demand but it's also going to adjust the throttle response and the steering sensitivity as well so now that we got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the acceleration here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2023 mercedes-benz eqb 250 here up to speed all right three two one yo whoa we're spinning baby oh yeah it's front wheels that's why okay Still, it, it did actually stick to the ground pretty quick. Yeah, eight seconds flat in an all electric vehicle is still gonna feel ridiculously quick. Honestly, zero to 60 in eight seconds in this thing, that number has gotta be underrated because it did feel like zero to 60 in like seven. That was a pretty darn good acceleration with the, just a tiny bit of slippage because all of that power is being set to the front wheels. But honestly, that was an incredible acceleration for the EQB 250. You're definitely not gonna have any issues emerging onto the highway in this thing. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So as expected, you will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes that do come standard on the EQB. As far as that braking feel goes, holy cow. Yeah, it does immediately bring you to a stop and there is regenerative braking as well. So definitely a very nice stop on the EQB 250 without a doubt. The touching on suspension and handling, of course, you got a front and rear independent suspension. So as far as ride quality goes, it's actually pretty darn good. I haven't had any issues in my short little test drive here today. I'll just put it back into comfort driving mode, but it does feel perfectly fine. I will say we got some pretty nice smooth roads here in Hagerstown, but overall it's been soaking up the road imperfections quite na nicely. So I certainly wouldn't have any issues with taking the EQB on a long road trip there. As far as steering feel goes, again, I just put it in comfort. Let me switch it back to sport real quick. <laughs> and it immediately throws you forward, but it is a noticeably heavier weight to the steering when you put it in that sport driving mode. So I do like that because if you prefer the heavier feel to it, you got it. But if you want a looser steering feel, you can definitely tell the difference. It is a much looser steering feel in that comfort driving mode, comparatively speaking to the sport. So I will say that as far as cabin noise goes, this is a perfect example. We're going 55 miles per hour right now. Little bit of wind noise, almost no road noise whatsoever though. And this is an electric vehicle, so it is gonna be a lot quieter than your gasoline powered option. I'll just put it that way. So like I said, a little bit of wind noise, but it's certainly not all that bad there. The touching on visibility, I can see 100% perfectly fine out of my rear view mirror there. It really because 
because of the shape of the EQB, you're definitely not gonna have any issues with that. Just because it is such a uh, flat shape in the back, it's not kind of like a coupe-like silhouette or anything like that. So rear visibility is 100% on point. Rain sensing windshield wipers though also come standard, so that's gonna assist with forward visibility as well. Essentially what that is, is whenever the EQB detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you, so it's just one less thing you gotta worry about there. And there is actually heated windshield washers available for an additional $200, so if it snows out here in Western Maryland, that has got you covered for forward visibility there as well. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 mercedes-benz eqb 250. all right so here she is you guys the new 2023 mercedes-benz eqb 250 finished in polar white in case you were curious of our exact exterior color name but as always let's go ahead and start with where the EQB250 is actually built and assembled. If you take a look at the VIN, first character is the letter W, indicating that the EQB is built and assembled in Germany. So, as it should be in my personal opinion. Let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Mercedes-Benz flat panel front grille. Of course, it's not a traditional front grille because this is an all-electric vehicle, so that is to be expected. But to the sides, LED headlights with LED daytime running lights. They do come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark and at night, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there. But you also have automatic high beams, meaning if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's going to automatically then bounce it back up to high beams. But we do have an option up front. I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to get a little bit closer for this one, but there's actually an illuminated star. Again, that is an option for $350. So try to show that you guys it's going to obviously look a heck of a lot better at night but it's kind of illuminated behind the star emblem here and i also like the light bar that kind of ties together the two headlights up front here at the top as well so it's a pretty nice accent piece on the front grille but anyways that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one here. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the EQB. All right, so we're now making our way to the side of this one, all the way to the top here. You do have aluminum roof rails that will come standard. Chrome window surrounds also coming standard on the EQB. Body color power adjustable side mirrors will come standard. They will also be heated with LED integrated turret signals, and they are also power folding in case you were curious. Do have some chrome trim accenting found on the side skirts to tie together with the chrome window surrounds, of course. And take a look down at the wheel setup. The standard setup is 18 inch aerodynamically efficient five spoke alloys. So that is what you guys are looking at right now. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the side profile. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so but now since we are around to the back of this one, first thing I usually mention is taking a look up top. We got a body color shark fin antenna, but we don't. It is a very nice aerodynamically efficient roof line with no shark fin antenna or any kind of antenna whatsoever so that is pretty unique you don't see that often mercedes-benz does tend to do that in some of their other vehicles as well but it's still very rare these days so i like it but anyways rear spoiler with an integrated brake light of course rear window wiper affixed to the rear glass you do have led tail lights with again an led light bar tying together the two tail lights as well you do have the eqb 250 plus badging back there so i like that as well a little bit of chrome accenting found at the bottom portion of that rear bumper but since this is an electric vehicle you're not going to have an exhaust outlet because there is no exhaust. So obviously we're gonna skip the exhaust clip because there isn't one and let's make our way to the inside of the EQB. All right, so now since we are around to the back of the EQB, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a power tailgate that just comes standard for all trim levels. So having said that, there is a button on the key fob, there's a button on the driver's side door, but my favorite way is the old Volkswagen Golf way, where essentially you just press in on the upper portion of that Mercedes-Benz logo and it's just gonna automatically then open up for you. So that is the coolest way by far, of course. But anyways, once open up cargo capacity comes in at around 22 cubic feet if that was not enough space there is a 40 20 40 split meaning the rear seats do fold down bumping that up for around 62 cubic feet total there is some cargo lighting back there there's some grocery bag hooks as well you got tied out anchors you got some side pockets with some netted storage as well that was pretty cool there's a cargo cover back there a 12 volt power outlet and then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor you are going to find some in-floor storage then as well so pretty much everything you could possibly want in the cargo area of an suv there but then make our way up to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 38.1 inches for reference i mean even six feet tall that's how much space i had back there there is also a rear center armrest with cup holders for the rear passengers rear ventilation you do have some charging ports and to my surprise 115 volt power outlet back there for those rear passengers as well then then making our way up to the front seats mercedes-benz tex upholstery or mb text i should say does come standard 12-way power adjustable front seats with four-way power lumbar coming standard memory settings for up to three different drivers 
drivers that can be found on the uh, driver's side door of course but you do have memory settings for up to three different passengers coming standard as well and that is on the passenger side door you don't always see that even on luxury vehicles that there's memory settings for the passenger but that is the case in many Mercedes Benzes and of course as well in the EQB 250. But heated and ventilated front seats are going to be optional. That's a $950 option, by the way. But overall, between the lumbar adjustment and between all the adjustments found on the doors, I certainly didn't have any issues finding my perfect driving position in the EQB. Let's take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is manually adjustable and it can be heated for an additional $250 if you wanted to go that route. Then make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key. All of your buttons are located on one side of the key. Got lock on the very top, unlock, and then that button to pop the power tailgate there. But it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just to the left of the air. Air vents and so once started up 10 and a quarter inch digital gauge cluster will come standard that of course is what you guys are looking at right now and the cool thing about these gauges is if you press the home button on the left side of the steering wheel and you slide all the way over there there's a designs and display section where you can choose between different loadouts basically to completely change the look of those gauges including classic sport progressive and understated and this is one of my favorite things to play around with whenever i review a mercedes-benz because they're more customizable than almost any other other brand or manufacturer out there that I've seen minus Audi. Audi does a really good job with their gauges too, but yeah, definitely very customizable, completely changes the look and the colors and all of that up on the gauges. And of course you have a digital speedometer, how much range you have left that could be found up there as well, of course. So plenty of different loadouts you could choose between. So I'm definitely a big fan of the gauges for all of those reasons, but then make our way to overall interior quality. A panorama roof is going to be optional, an option that we don't have today, but if you wanted it, there goes for $1,500. Dual zoom climate control is is going to come standard along with 64 colors of ambient lighting and that is something mercedes-benz always crushes it with so i'm actually going to go ahead and adjust that color real quick so we can be a little bit brighter for us here today universal garage door opener is available that is an option for 280 dollars it comes with a frameless rear view mirror and by the way the garage door openers are for up to three different garage doors there there is also optional wood trim available and that's one of my favorite parts about mercedes as well because whenever you get into the mercedes for the first time if it has that wood trim it's got that new home smell not the new car smell but that new home smell when you first build your house or something from scratch it smells absolutely amazing if i'm being honest but you also have some aluminum trim as well found just above the passenger side glove box there and just in front of the uh, touchpad controller and all that you got some rubberized storage there is a 12 volt power outlet usb charging port dual cup holders and within a center armrest there's a decent amount of storage actually with another phone charging port in there as well so overall interior quality is done perfectly fine especially the ambient lighting because i love how the ambient lighting not only is super bright and vibrant but also it's included in randomly cool places like mercedes has done for a while like just around the climate control vents for example i always absolutely love that with mercedes but now let's go ahead and actually make our way to the tech screen here again you have a 10 and a quarter inch color touchscreen display to match the 10 and a quarter inch gauge setup of course bluetooth and audio streaming do come standard android auto apple carplay factory navigation system as well got your climate control settings up there along with your ambient light lighting adjustments too. And there's a cool theme section towards the bottom where you can choose between things like trip, lounge, and standard, essentially completely adjusting everything within the vehicle so if you had the panoramic moonroof it would open and close that also the ambient lighting colors it would adjust that so it really does adjust a good bit so i like that as well but of course you can check out your radio information up there i don't want to forget to mention that so when it comes to the sound system of the eqb 250 there is just simply one of them and that is going to be a 10 speaker sound system with 225 watts so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one There's definitely a subwoofer in that 10 speaker sound system. That was plenty of bass. And honestly, is that the very best that you would expect from a luxury vehicle? Or maybe there should be an optional sound system for this thing. But having said that, 10 speakers is plenty fine for the EQB 250. Definitely fills up the cabin nicely. And again, there's a ton of bass with this thing. I just still feel like there should be an optional sound system that goes above and beyond a little bit. But anyways, last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen here is when you do put the EQB in reverse, you will, of course, find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, letting you know what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us 
in the safety. And so to start, front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors to tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard, active brake assist, active park assist, attention assist, blind spot monitoring system, and a Mercedes-Benz emergency call system, which is pretty cool. But then of course, in typical Mercedes fashion, there's an optional safety package called the driver assistance package. It goes for $1,300. And that's gonna give you adaptive cruise control, evasive steering assist, speed limit recognition, lane change assist, and plenty more. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the EQB, this is the new most affordable EQB. And I will say it's only by a couple thousand, but you know, every dollar counts, right? So it is nice that they made a more affordable one. And it's also the longest range for an EQB now as well. So that's pretty cool. Great interior quality, especially the ambient lighting. I keep saying that in every Mercedes-Benz review that I do. Definitely a big fan of that. Very quiet cabin, not as quiet as some other Mercedes, of course, but still plenty quiet, especially with it being an electric vehicle. The only room for improvement I can really say with this is the same thing I say with most Mercedes-Benz because most other manufacturers do make safety standard. And you would think in a luxury brand like Mercedes-Benz, they would make safety standard as well. So I would love to make that driver assistance package something that comes standard on every Mercedes-Benz for that matter, because they always do this. But honestly, that's really all I got. So let me know what you guys think of the EQB 250 in the comment section below. and. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media if you want to see what's coming next on the channel. Before it gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe with the bell notification button. If you're into new car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.